to LJP channel. I am your host, Vector. Today we are going to talk about this new app for me which you can customize my voice, speed and tone. Hope you like this video, please subscribe, like and comment. So, here we go. Right, this video I want to say thank you for a username called Jeff Valentine. Now Jeff kindly said go to Google Play Store and download app called Vector CTRL which is a control for Anki Vector. It is awesome, also gives you a battery voltage as well. So I managed to get into the app and play around with it. So let me show you what this app is if you don't know. So here it goes. All right, so this is um, Google Play Store. It's by this developer called uh, Ilke Aktuna, I think. Um, apologies if I haven't actually pronounced it well, but it says, what's new? So volume uh, version, sorry, <laughs> 0 0.4 added voice parameter. Um, and um, so there's been voice has been updated, added port field for external network port mapping. Now you can control vector from outside of your Wi-Fi network, apparently. So see um, the version 0 0.3 enables me to type in anything I want outside of my house, somewhere, let's say in my office, uh, then it will be able to speak at my house. Um, so these sort of, well, the version 0 0.2, <clears throat> Add a battery level, battery voltage. So it seems like this. Um, it's oh, this is this is quite interesting. This is a POC app. Oh, I'm not familiar with that code for vector anti anti vector. It is currently only lets you make a vector talk, whatever you write on the text field. More functions will be added later on, probably this week. So we're expecting more. So this person is doing a very good job. So other than, you know, many other things um, like SDK, I guess this could be the next SDK for Vector. <coughs> Apologies, so it would be fantastic. So I'm going to put a five star on this and um, I'm going to comment on it, but let's get into the app. Right, so this is the app, uh, pretty simple. So what you do is you type in your username and password of normally what you would type in for your original Vector app. So you must remember that. And you gotta find your IP. And to get the Vector IP is pretty simple. Remember that two click while Vector's on his dock. So we're gonna do that now. So you double click on it and you get this hashtag with your Vector unique four digit. You lift up his hand up and down and you shall see the um, IP address here, okay? So what you do is you type that IP address on here and then you press set and that's all ready to go. So I'm gonna do that now and show you what's gonna happen, okay? Okay, so you could see that there's this um, sentence you could write down, so I just type in hi and the speed of 1.0 with a vector voice clicked on it. So if I type in this and then press say hi. it says hi but if I unclick that one it'll be slightly clearer hi. yeah can you see that sharpness on the sound and also if I type in the speed of let's say 10 10 then you'll see substantial speed has been reduced hi. there you go it's like a drunken vector one more time <laughs> and to make things uh, quicker, you do the opposite, which is no point. Let's try no point three to say hi. 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 Yeah. So those are the customization that you could do. So let's say if you have a young daughter or son who's a great fan of Vector, you can manually type in all the sentence and let him speak like the way how you want to. So your kids will enjoy it and you'll have a bit of fun. Anyway, so I hope this you, you find this video useful. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP. All the best. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.